talking about space invaders. So space invaders have to make sure to make that clear. Nothing to do with the video game space invaders. Completely different. So this was a recommendation from Cross the Page. He was on the stream before as a guest rapper. He recommended this film. It's a 1990s sci-fi comedy horror, kids comedy horror kind of thing. With aliens coming to Earth by accident because they're stupid. Uh, and specifically they hear a broadcast of War of the Worlds someone is putting on in a small town radio station. And they don't, they think that it's actually their Mars, their fellow Martians that are doing this. And they think it's real. They think that they're raiding Earth. So they take that as a sign as, oh, they're raiding Earth. We should go raid Earth. But they're just really bad at, at everything. It's sort of the joke, I guess. And it's, it's funny sometimes, I guess. When the jokes are funny, they're funny. Well, when they're not, they're not. I guess that goes with anything. But it is very, quite hit and miss, I would say. But if anybody wants to talk about this film, or the next film, or just wants to join my Discord, please check out the Discord. I'm putting it in here. Um, you can learn about the movies. I actually put next week's in the booty chat in there, in the Discord. But... That's where we talk about the movies, that's where I put the new movies, that's where you can promote yourself, put memes, we can just chat. There's lots of fun stuff in the Discord. But anyway, back to Space Invaders. So I'm going to actually look this up. I think it's generally hated online. And let's talk about some of the good stuff in it though. So Space Invaders is kind of cool because of the effects. That's the main thing probably that I like about this is it looks cool. The the creatures look good. Some of the dubbing with uh, the way the mouths move maybe doesn't add up all the time. But even like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, those movies. And that was like the probably one of the best examples of that, of the animatronics dubbing. It's just really hard to get that synced up. So that's why I sort of let that slide a little more. It's hard to sync that up. Um, but it lo they look good. The creatures look good. But yeah, if anybody watched Space Invaders, come on down into the Booty Crew and t uh, into the Movie Talk channel and we can talk about Space Invaders or The Bodyguard, which is next. But right now we are talking about Space Invaders. So I have it on IMDb. 5.3 out of 10. And that's not so bad. I think it has 8% on Rotten Tomatoes, but... Honestly, Rotten Tomatoes is less reliable. They're not, there's no perfect rating system for movies because they're so subjective, right? You're, there's always going to be some movie that you don't agree with their rating on, on the internet. Um, but, you know, 5.3 to me doesn't seem too bad. It seems, it seems fair-ish for this, maybe a little lower. But... Yeah, so I did talk about the basic plot, so I'm just going to talk about the stuff that I remember from it and things that I think were good and things that I don't think were... I don't... I didn't watch either this week. That's okay, Stevie. Um, but yeah, things that I liked and things I didn't like. So let's talk about more. I did, I did say that the effects are the best, the creatures, but there's also like the stuff in space with like the models. It all looks pretty good. I wasn't a big fan of the... The helmet design, though, of the aliens, but they take the helmets off pretty quick, and you get to see their alien faces uh, pretty quick. So that's a minor note because they do you get to see them pretty quick. If they were wearing the helmets the whole time, I'd be kind of mad. But they wear a different stuff, and <sighs> lots of stuff. There's lots of stuff that doesn't make sense about this movie. So let's get into it. There's so much that doesn't make sense. And I don't think I'm going to touch on everything that doesn't make sense in this. But I'm going to... I'll try to talk about a bit of it, at least. The things that bug me the most. So, the the main character is sort of this sheriff who has moved to this small town to be the sheriff. Uh, and right off the beginning, this old guy has a gun. And it's like, what is this old guy? He seems like the bad guy because he's the crazy old guy with a gun. And the sheriff's not even handling it well. Like, it doesn't make sense how he handles it. He's like, 
oh, you know, I'm the he doesn't he doesn't say he's a sheriff. He should be like, I'm the sheriff, you know, calm down. But he's just like, just give me the gun. All he says is give me the gun. And then eventually he gives and he finds out that there's an, it's not loaded, but and the, the old guy is actually you're supposed to root for him because it's the mean industrialist cowboy mayor or whatever he I don't think he's the mayor, but he's like city council or something. I don't really get what his role is in the city, but he is the villain in the movie and he wants to make a big highway and tear down this guy's farm because he's not making enough food or money or something. Uh, it's kind of dumb and they don't spend that much time on that plot. They throw a lot of shit in this movie, you know? <laughs> uh, and it, it doesn't, it, come, it all sort of comes together, but it doesn't come together perfectly paced and it, it does run a little long, I think. So an hour forty minutes, and I know an hour and forty minutes isn't that long, but even any movie that that drags a little bit is gonna kind of suck, right? If if it drags a little bit, it's too long. That's what I'm trying to say. But like I just said the aliens look cool. Something kind of funny about this movie is that the people that were in these alien suits, I guess they had no way of actually seeing. There is no eye holes for them to see or anything. So they were blind in these suits, and they needed direction, and I guess they bumped into each other all the time and ran into shit a lot. Um, but, so it's kind of funny, but I just thought yeah, that was just sort of noteworthy, kind of silly. But, you know, I get it. Why have eye, eye holes when you can just make it look good? <laughs> uh, and honestly, they do look good, the creatures, like I said. One of the creatures is sort of doing a Jack Nicholson impression. All the aliens are like wearing Earth clothes, and I don't think they were are supposed to have ever been to Earth before, so that doesn't make sense. Uh, because they don't know what a road is, and they don't know how like cars operate, so I don't think they've been to Earth before. Um, but they're trying to blow it up because they th they heard the War of the Worlds. Um, so yes, the main joke is that the aliens are dumb. There's another scene where they're in, oh yeah, so like I talked about the sheriff. So the sheriff has a daughter and she's new to the town. It's that classic cliche of she's like, why do we have to move? I don't want to be here, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, don't worry, just go trick or treating. It'll be fine. And it sort of is in a way. She has a good adventure with aliens and shit. She meets a kid that's dressed as a duck. They become friends. I don't really like the kids acting that's dressed as a duck. He doesn't do that good a job, in my opinion. He's a little annoying. And at first, I think that I thought that like he was just like talking like a duck, because he was dressed like a duck. But then he takes off the costume and he still talks like that. At one point in the movie, so that was a little confusing. I don't know if that was intentional or that maybe he just talks like that. I guess maybe I don't know. It's not that important. But wasn't a big fan of him, his acting. But oh yeah, and the little girl that is, that the main little girl, the sheriff's daughter in this is the little girl in Jurassic Park as well. So, you know, <coughs> knowledge and facts being laid down right now. Uh, I I kind of like this movie, but it was also kind of dragged more than I thought it would. I. I remember watching this film when I was a little kid and really liking it. I lo loving the creature effects and that kind of stuff. And that probably still would be my favorite part of it now. But yeah, it just doesn't quite age the same way. Another noteworthy thing is there's a Zagnut bar in this. And I didn't know what Zagnut is, but it's Zagnut is a, ch a candy bar. It's pretty rare, I guess, but it still exists. I think you can buy it on Amazon. It's in. It's also in the movie Beetlejuice, more famously probably. It's in Beetlejuice, but um, yeah, Space Invaders. It was. It's. It's nineteen ninety. It was on YouTube for free if you want to watch it. Um, but if you don't want to watch it, I don't blame you. But yeah, the effects were really fun. I gotta talk about this character. That's, he's dressed as Zoro. Oh, and yeah, that's another thing I have to mention. That this is all taking place on Halloween for the classic cliche of, oh, well, the aliens are, they everyone thinks that they're just people in costumes because it's Halloween. Ho, 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 ho. 
Um, but it's pretty crazy to think that, especially with some of the scenes, uh, like there's this woman who picks up the Martians thinking that they're kids. And I guess that makes sense, but not really because... She asks them who their name is, and they don't. They're just like, die, Earth in Sky. I was like, haha, very funny, get in the car. And I don't think that, like, that's sort of just abducting them at one point. And then one point in the car, she's like, okay, who are you, really? And then the one girl's like, they're my cousins. And it's like, why? Like, it just doesn't make any sense, you know, how these events play out. And they, the aliens shoot a rocket launcher out the window at one point. I've been saying this for years. Aliens are real. That's right. They shoot a rocket launcher out the window at one point, and then she stops. It's like, okay, but, like, it takes her a while to kick them out still at that point. It's like, wouldn't you immediately be like, okay, something's going on. Like, why do these kids have a fucking rocket launcher or whatever, you know? But it's really crazy to me, uh, some of the things. They just, it was that point of the 90s when they're just like, you know, get people to look in some fucking green suits and, Throw in some pop culture references, and it, well, it'll be like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with green guys, but they're aliens, they're not turtles. Uh, you know, give them some Earth clothes, have one of them talk like Jack Nicholson. I don't know, it's, it's pretty crazy. So there's a guy who actually does a decent job. He's the, he, he plays the gas attendant, and he dresses Zorro, because again, it's Halloween. And he's filling up people's cars and stuff, but then he scrapes off an alien. Because one of the aliens gets hit so, hits by a car because they don't know what roads are, but he's fine, I guess. Because Zorro scoops him off of... He scoops Zorro off of the truck. And uh, Zorro, Zorro scoops the alien off the truck. And then later, the alien puts a mind control device on this guy. And he actually does, he does almost like a Christopher, a young Christopher Lloyd kind of impersonation it almost looks like he's doing he's trying to channel christopher lloyd or something but um he does a decent job given the material again this movie is not great but i don't hate it it has enough like fun stuff to just be barely watchable at least i think i don't know i kind of enjoyed it a little bit at least again i didn't love it but like i said the effects were fun there were some good jokes a lot of groaners but still uh, it was pretty fun. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I'm forgetting about this film that I want to talk about. And I don't think there is. So I'm going to end the review by saying this movie is okay. Um, but it's just okay. I'm going to give it like a little above five. Because if you know my rating system, I have a great respect for making a movie. I made a movie with my family. It's very hard to make almost any movie. So I... Something has to really be bad and really make me angry to give it below 5 out of 10. So I like this movie kind of. Kind of. It was alright. It was alright. I'm going to give it 5.3. That's what I'm feeling for this. You know, it could have been better, sure. But it also could have been worse. And I feel like movies, bad movies uh, in the 90s, like old bad movies, are way better than new bad movies. Because new bad movies, there's like no soul. At least there's there's like character in this. You know they had fun making it at least. Uh, and like I said, the effects are really fun. So here is a beat from uh, Patrick Swankins called the New Drake Instrumental. And here we go with the rating. Yeah, like I said, Space Invaders, 5.3 out of 10 dugs. It was not great, but it was kind of fun. Good effects, pretty stupid. Um, you know, and the acting's not great, but that's to be expected in this kind of movie. It's pretty fun. I mean, parts were fun, parts were not, but it was still pretty, it was all right. It was all right, 5.3 out of 10. I stand by it, Spaced Invaders. It's on YouTube for free if you want to watch it. Check it out, oh yeah.